The soldiers reportedly reached an agreement with Abiy Ahmed, although the details are yet to be divulged. The soldiers asked for pay rises and a review of the structure and operations of the military. Fitzam Erega, chief of staff in Abiy's office said the prime minister listened to their grievances, reprimanded them for the wrong procedure used and promised to meet them properly in the near future. He PM Abiy Ahmed listened to the grievances carefully, reprimanded them for the wrong procedure they followed to express those grievances, but concluded the meeting with a promise to meet properly in the near future to positively consider their demands. The state broadcaster, who did not publish images of the soldiers marching, explained that the internet had been shut off to prevent the circulation of fake news on social media. It is not the first time the country has resorted to internet cuts for political reasons. In the past, government accused activists of abusing social media to spread inciting material that has often led to anti-government protests. Abiy, 42, took office in April after several years of unrest forced his predecessor to resign. He has pledged to reform the security forces and promote multi-party democracy. These changes are a shock to the system in Ethiopia a country of more than 100 million people led with an iron fist since the EPTF coalition that Abiy belongs to seized power in 1991.